Hi everyone, it's Bella Geminiels and today I'm going to show you how to make another cuff set. So I was inspired by my previous cuff, which is the Coco Chanel inspired cuff that I did for you all. It was received rather nicely, you loved it, and I wanted to recreate another more simple design for you all. So the design will go from this to this. Okay, so for starters, guys, we are going to go with the metal cuffs that I used last time. These were purchased at Athenian in downtown LA. They were $3.50, and you can recreate this look with any simple cuff that you find online if you're not in the LA area. I will be designing both of these. They're going to be pretty much identical. And for this design, it's going to be about $5 to recreate your own custom design. I'm going to be using these beautiful Marcasite bows. And these were from AliExpress. And they were $1.59. And you could see here how beautiful they are. $1.59, it takes about 20 days for shipping, but they are very nice quality. I did purchase two of them, but um, they're going to be just basically bows sitting on top of the cuff. Now, I am going to be adding some 10 millimeter crystal hearts. You can choose any accent dangles you'd like to hang from this corner here. And you'll need your E6000 glue. And let's get started. Okay guys, first I'm going to be starting with the jump ring that I've added here. It is a silver plated jump, jump ring that fits perfectly in the perforation here. And these are from Athenian as well. And this is a pinch clasp and it is in shape of a leaf. And what I do is you can pry it open with your fingers. It is soft metal or you can use your, your pliers. And I'm taking a 10 millimeter crystal heart here and I'm going to place it in the center of the heart since it's perforated and I'm going to pinch it closed. For added security, just use your pliers. I'm going to be cutting the top part of this ring since I won't be using that to attach it. And you can see how that is just going to dangle. That is your first step. Next step is to determine placement. Press and apply a little bit of pressure to kind of scratch into the metal so that you can gauge where you're placing glue. Let that sit for a little while and get started on adding the jump ring here. For this cuff, I am adding the jump ring to the right side as opposed to the bottom part since I want them on opposite sides. Guys, when you're placing the glue, the dollop of glue, make sure you let it harden for about five to six minutes before placing the embellishment. That way it doesn't teeter-totter as much. What you're going to do now is let them dry. Okay, guys, this is the finished product, and they are absolutely beautiful. The Marcasite stones are very sparkly and this will be a dazzler in the sun for sure. The way I wear these cuffs, because I have such a small wrist, I wear them on top of button down shirts and I put them right on top of the shirt. So it just gives it an extra pop of style there. And you could see the hard accent on the lower left side. And on this cuff, I actually applied the stone to the top part. So they are identical except for the positioning of the heart. Now these are rather large, so they'll fit a large wrist, but you can do this design on any cuff that you see. I will be doing a giveaway of one of these. This is going to be the friendship bracelet. So you will have a one of a kind piece made by me and I will have the other one. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, Rules of entry will be the following. Since this is a friendship theme bracelet, I am going to ask you who your best friend is and how long you've been best friends and tell me a little bit about your relationship with them. If you're a perpetual loner like I am, then I hope that you are your own best friend. Let me know how you take care of yourself and what you do for yourself every day 
to be kind and good to yourself. So share your story with me down below and I will pick one lucky winner. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.